Yeah, once again we're looking down the engine bay of the Larson 250 and the bracket actually came out pretty nice. Uh, after a bit of uh, grinding and measuring and re-measuring and re-bending, uh, looks like this. So the tank is here, it's not... Uh, uh, the bolts are just in there, they're not tightened down or anything, so I'll wait with that before uh, I get the rest of the parts, you know, the the diesel pump and uh, all the tubing and everything, but yeah, I think it, uh, it turned out pretty nice. It's, uh, it's not insane. Uh, amount of space between the uh, diesel tank here and the water pump, but uh, I know that the water pump shakes around a bit when when you use it. But uh, I think it will be okay actually. And uh, one thing I noticed it's that this is that kind of uh, tank that um, you can put the. Uh, the outlet pretty much anywhere it can comes with a little you know um, you you uh, punch a hole through and you just tighten them and they're they're in there uh, and I'm not sure if I can uh, there's a little too little room in the bottom here so perhaps I will be forced to use the uh, yeah on the end down here <coughs> So that means that there pretty much will be about a gallon in the bottom of the tank that will never get used. So that's a drawback. But uh, I mean the 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 fuel consumption of the diesel heater is so small anyway. So I, I don't I'm not sure if I don't think that will be a problem actually. So yeah, here's the finished uh, result. Uh, and we'll make a follow up on this one when it's all installed and everything with pump and heater. Thanks guys, bye.